I rise like the sun sometimes, but then I fall. Like a black moon, I rise when the night falls. When the night falls, the mic calls. So listen, it's the ultraviolet rays that keep me rising on the mission. I rise like the sun sometimes, but then I fall. Like a black moon, I rise when the night calls. When the night falls, the mic calls. So listen, it's the ultraviolet rays that keep me rising on the mission. What up, Hype Beast? You already know who it is. Back with another NBA update video. So, today's video is for my Los Angeles Laker Hype Beast out there, man. Teron Lue, Mr. Ty Lue, Mr. Four Finals in Four Years with LeBron James, first year being an assistant, was the primary candidate for the Los Angeles Lakers' new coach. They wanted Monty Williams. It looks like Monty Williams, Monty Williams passed on the deal with the Lakers and went and signed with Phoenix. Teron Liu was the next guy up. Um, there was a lot of talk about him getting Tom Thibodeau to be his assistant, his lead assistant. And they were going to run it up with LeBron and whatever free agent they got. Well, we found out today that... Both sides had to back away from the negotiation table because Tyron Lou was not interested in signing a three-year, $18 million contract to coach the Lakers. Supposedly, Tyron Lou was like, hey, I'm a championship coach. I won in 2016. I've been to four finals, three of them as a head coach, one of them as an assistant. You got to show me more respect than that. Supposedly, Teron Luce I wanted a deal longer than three years. Um, I'm assuming, I think, what, the maximum for a coach is, what, five years or something like that? Um, so I'm guessing maybe he was asking for five years. I don't know how much more money he could have been asking for. At $18 million at, you know, in three years, $6 million a year, whatever. I'm pretty sure that's good money for coaches. Um, I, I really don't know what kind of deal... <laughs> Supposedly he just wanted more. There was a lot of emphasis on more years. I don't know how much more money he wanted, but um, supposedly, you know, with his resume and his championship, you got to pay him and you got to give him a long-term commitment. So that's what Teron Lou looks like he's asking for. Now, I, I personally don't think this is over. They said they ended the negotiations, which is fine. Sometimes negotiations end or whatever. That doesn't mean people can't, you know, come back to the table and talk about it. Teron Lou, I feel like, is the pick for this team. LeBron's there. He's LeBron's guy. LeBron wanted him in there. Um, it looks like, you know, some of the other Laker advisors want him in there. Um, you know, the Lakers already kind of screwed over LeBron a little bit by not being able to keep magic or whatever. So, you know, I think it's only right to have him in there. Plus, he's Coach LeBron. Plus, you know, he's had success coaching them. Um, this Laker team would have better defenders. So we could see, you know, he was supposed to be a defensive genius schematically. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. But I, I do think uh, Toronto is going to end up back at the table with the Lakers. I do think because the other people, Jason Kidd, I'm pretty sure the Lakers don't want them problems. If you don't remember, Jason Kidd was the coach of the Milwaukee Bucks. Remember the Bucks team that couldn't win a first round series to save their life? The, those were the Jason Kidd guys. Now, Jason Kidd did do a, some great player development, but that team got a lot better as soon as they got a real coach. As soon as they got, um, you know, the old dude from Atlanta, they're the number one team in the NBA, possibly going to win a championship this year. So, you know, Jason Kidd as a head coach is not the best situation. Now, if you have him as a lead player developer, player development coach or whatever that that's cool that's cool i don't know if you want him to be the head coach they're talking about Jawan howard we've seen Jawan howard as a assistant in miami for years i don't know that this laker team is the team that you want you know to try him out as a, a first-time coach on not this team um toronto lose the guy there's not a, another guy out there who's, I guess, Coach K, if they wanted to try him out or whatever, if he was willing to come. But Teron Lou is the guy. He's coached LeBron. He's had success with LeBron. Teron Lou is the guy they need to get. They need to figure it out. If they don't want to give him the years, they need to give him more money. If they don't want to give him more money, they need to give him the years. But they have to figure something out. Because, honestly, I think he's the guy. So they got to figure it out. And Teron Lou, come on, man. I know he has some anxiety issues, and I know maybe he's not super excited. Maybe he doesn't have to coach again right away, in his opinion. But 
you ain't gotta if you want to coach you gotta get back out there it's the lakers it's lebron it's championships that could possibly be won they might get Kawhi Leonard. they could get anthony davis they could get they're gonna get somebody this offseason you gotta you gotta get real about it all right anyway let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section what do you guys think about teron lou waving a big you know shaking his head no to three years 18 million dollars to coach the los angeles lakers is he crazy let me know down below all right see you next time